I will not let those I have freed slide back into chains. I will not sail for Westeros. What then? I will do what queens do. I will rule. This scene shows Danny learning a lesson that I think all revolutionaries learned at one point or another, which is that conquering in many ways is a whole lot easier than ruling. This is a pivotal moment for Daenerys because for so long her sole goal was getting back to Westeros, conquering Westeros, sitting on the Iron Throne, and becoming the queen that she believes she has every right to be. And now she has the opportunity. She's driven by a, a kind of a deep empathy, a much deeper empathy than probably anybody else in the show. It's something that makes her as charismatic as she is to people because they can sense the sincerity of it. Her empathy allows her to look at the people of Westeros and say, why the hell would they ever follow me if I hadn't proven myself through my actions to be somebody worth following? Why would they let me rule if I hadn't proven myself to be somebody who has ruled well somewhere else. If he sees you, he won't let you go north. He's my brother. Bran is on a quest right now, and he's risking his life, and he's throwing everything else aside to pursue this quest, because he believes, based on the visions that he's seen and based on what Jojen has told him, that his destiny depends on getting to the Three-Eyed Raven. He's faced with a really difficult choice in this moment because he sees his beloved half-brother, John. In the abstract, Bran's whole choice over last season was between letting go of his past and grabbing on to a very uncertain future. When you actually see that embodiment of your past, when your brother is within eyeshot and within earshot if you would only yell loud enough, uh, I think that it's a much more stark instance of, of the choice that he has to make. He has to really go against all his instincts not to shout out for, for Jon Snow and to and to go, you know, deeper into the woods and find that three-eyed raven. You want to stay here in Craster's Keep? Burn it to the ground. Burning Craster's Keep symbolizes John's desire to bring the Night's Watch back to some semblance of what it used to be and have it actually stand for something and have it actually you know, as far as protecting the realms of men from the actions of evil men and evil things in general, I think that Craster's Keep was a pretty, pretty good horror show embodiment of everything that can go wrong with human beings. And burning it down is telling anybody who cares to listen that there are certain things that John definitely will stand against and will put his money where his mouth is when it comes to posing.